Hey, ever wondered how to set up Google Analytics social media tracking? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to set it up so you can identify which social media platforms are sending traffic to your site, see if you're targeting the right audience, and you can keep an eye on the number of conversions that are coming from your social media audience. Now, as a side note, if you're using WordPress, there's a much easier way to track your social media traffic, so you can skip to the next section if you like, or you can stay here with me, and I'm gonna show you how to set it up in GA4. So let's hop right in. All right, now in GA4, navigate to Reports, and then to Acquisition, and then head over to Traffic Acquisition. Now just scroll down the page to find the table. If you have social traffic, and depending on what campaigns you're running, you'll see organic social and paid social, or both in this table. If you don't see the social traffic, you may need to add more rows to the page. This report shows you things like how many users were referred to your site from social media, how many pages they viewed, how long they stayed on your site, how many conversions they completed, and more. If you want to see metrics for each of your social channels, then you'll need to build a custom exploration report. Now, if you haven't done that yet, you can be sure to check out the link in the description to our guide on how to create custom reports in GA4. So to see metrics per social media channel, you'll need to create a custom social media report. It's easy, just follow these steps. So we'll start by importing the following dimensions. Session source, session default channel grouping, and landing page. Okay, next we'll need to import these metrics. Sessions, engage sessions, user engagement, engagement rate, conversions, and if you're running an e-commerce site, purchases or transactions. So let's begin by moving session source from your dimensions list into the rows box. This will show you a breakdown of your social media traffic by channel. Next, we'll grab the metrics. So move all five metrics into the values box. This will show you the key metrics for each social channel. Then we'll go to the dimensions list and drag and drop session default channel grouping into the filters box. Now you'll need to set the filter to exactly matches and select organic social. Now your report will look something like this. Now, if you want to customize this, let's say you want to see how social media traffic performs on different landing pages, simply swap out session source for landing page in the rows box or if you're curious about the difference between new and established visitors, then just add the new established dimension to the report and drag it into the rows box. Of course, if you need more than 10 rows, then change the number of rows in the report setting. Now, if you're a WordPress user, the easiest way to monitor your social media traffic is with Monster Insights. Monster Insights is a plugin that allows WordPress users to track their social media traffic without having to dive into Google Analytics. It connects WordPress sites to Google Analytics and provides a dashboard with social media insights. Okay, let's take a look at the social media insights that Monster Insights has to offer. First up is the Social Media Report, your one-stop shop for understanding your social traffic. Just head to Insights, and then to Traffic, and then to Social. Now you're gonna see how much social traffic that you've generated, whether your visitors were engaged and how many conversions that they made. And to easily keep an eye on your social media referrals and see which ones are sending you the most traffic, well, you can find that in the top referrals report. And if you want to dig even deeper into your referrals, there's a link at the bottom of the report that will take you straight to the detailed referral report in your Google Analytics dashboard. Now, to see the specific social channels contributing to your website's traffic and how much impact that you're getting from social media channels, you can use the Source Media Report. This report will clearly show you the social media platforms driving your traffic as well as other sources. To find out more about how to use Monster Insights in WordPress, just see our step-by-step -step guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress the right way. It's like having a Monster Insights manual right at your fingertips. All right, let's get into custom URLs for Google Analytics social media tracking. Now, this is super easy. All you have to do is just fill out the fields and Monster Insights URL Builder will automatically create a unique URL with an embedded UTM code so you can track traffic from your specific campaigns. So imagine you're planning a spring sale and you want to track traffic from Facebook. Simply add the following parameters to build a custom URL. For the website URL, just enter the full website address that you want to track. 
example, the campaign source tell Google Analytics where your website traffic is coming from. For example, if you're running a Facebook ad, you'd write Facebook here. In the campaign medium field, tell Google the marketing medium is for. For example, the banner of your site. For the campaign name, just give your campaign a name so you can easily find it later. For example, if you're having a spring sale, just call it spring sale. Next, in the campaign term field, enter a keyword like beachwear. And last, fill in the campaign content field. Add something special to your ads to make them stand out. Let's say, for an example, if you're running two spring sale Facebook ads, then name them one and two. Okay, once you've filled in all the blanks, copy and use that link for your Facebook promotions. Any visitors using that link will automatically be tracked in Google Analytics with the parameters that you've added. It's like having personalized traffic tracking for your social media campaigns. Now you can easily see the campaign results right within WordPress using the Monster Insights Campaigns Report. And there you have it, how to set up Google Analytics social media tracking. To learn more about tracking your campaign data in Google Analytics, be sure to check out a complete guide to GA4 conversion tracking for WordPress. Thank you for watching, stay awesome, and I'll catch you in the next one. See your Google Analytics data in WordPress with Monster Insights. Get 50% off right now and subscribe for more helpful content like this.